Hello, it's James from xrobots.co.uk. This is part eight of building a real working exosuit. In previous episodes, we've built an elbow and a backpack, which is going to be for the kind of rotary axis of the arm. And last time I started on some legs because the whole thing was getting very heavy and we need something to support it. So the aim is we've got these frames which are sprung upwards with press exercises, which are big springs, and we have a gearbox in each, which is going to pull them up as I take steps. So that seemed to work out pretty well, but now we need to link the legs together and get some rotational axis on in the hips. So the plan is going to be a bit of steel pipe on each one that will allow the legs to rotate. So this will be fixed down and then I can have a rotational axis for the body so I can split the legs to turn on the spot. We also need to pivot it this way, of course, so that um, I can actually lean side to side. So we've got a couple of axes there to implement. Here's my plan. So the blue thing is the steel pipe. The uh, thing here that's brown is a piece of 2020 extrusion, which is what I used in Robot X for most of the construction. And then we're going to have a pivot point along the bottom here, which will be a bit of 12 mil studding in two brackets, which will be screwed to the wood or whatever. And uh, basically then we'll have that pivot. And these blocks here are going to be um, printed in Tormann alloy. So they can actually be 3D printed nylon prints, it should be really tough, the same as the gears in the exosuit and all the pulleys and so on. Um, and that'll allow this thing to lean kind of sideways and also to have a rotational axis where I can put some other stuff around that attached to the backpack so that it can actually rotate around this way. So these are going to be quite chunky prints. They're pretty big, but let's get going on those. Right, we're actually on number two here, and that is already uh, out nearly two hours into the print. I've already made one which came out perfectly well. It's, uh, I'm printing straight on the glass as usual with a Yoohoo glue stick for adhesion. So it's come out incredibly flat on the bottom. It didn't warp at all. It took um, over eight hours in the end. So we're just on the second one here. It's got a considerable way to go. And then we've got the two other pieces to do the sharp edge of the triangle. So those have come out pretty well. They're really, really tough. Obviously that one, we've got the thing at the back there and a hole through to put a bolt through to grip it. So it grips on the tube, the bottom one's got the hole there for the studding, the 2020 fits really well. So obviously they go like this with the 2020 between, studding through there and a hole through the steel. Here it is all set up, so I've got my hole there and I'll put nuts either side to stop these sliding. I've also printed a number of other parts which are these, which actually will screw onto the back of the backpack. And I'll have two here and one up here. And I've printed these stoppers which are also clamps to go round to stop those sliding up and down. So I've got a number of those which will be placed. Right, here's one of them. This thing goes a bit higher and there's another stopper, but those are my hinge points. And obviously this leans about this piece of studding and uh, that's it really. So it's pretty rigid. Quite liking the look of the nylon and steel and aluminium. Maybe I should have made more of it like that. So I thought I'd go ahead and just bolt the top on. So I've got all of my uh, bits of uh, 3D printed nylon there and the things. It's actually propped up with a piece of wood at the moment because it doesn't stand up on its own, but uh, might have handles to hold it here to walk. But um, it seems to be about the right proportions. Um, it's in its most forward pose at the moment, so effectively I'd be leaning right forward. But obviously we've got the shoulder which will attach there for an arm that comes round and so on. So um, if I take the piece of wood out, it's actually not too bad. There will be some extra stuff to stop it keeling over completely because there is a point it will just fall. So obviously it can lean that way. The legs can rotate around these tubes. And in fact, as I say, the legs are leaning right forward at the moment. So if we push it upright, it's not too bad. It doesn't really want to just keep falling over. There is a point, of course, if I push forward, uh, backwards too much, it wants to go, but hopefully one leg is forward and one is backwards in that case. So um, actually it's pretty well balanced altogether. So um, pretty happy with that so far. We do need to put some springs in to stop it keeling over. So I'm going to put some big springs in and probably some end stops, even if they're cable. Uh, but actually, I think that looks all right altogether. Just thought I'd show you a close-up of all of this. This nylon really is tough stuff. I haven't put all the screws in. Some of these screws go all the way in and into the uh, tube of one, the other side of this panel, which is actually MDF. We do need a pad on here because it's pretty harsh on the back and some sort of hip grips, but all of that's to come. And obviously on the back, we've got all of that back axis we made a couple of episodes ago. Have a look back for that. Uh, basically, this sprocket and this axis will be the main shoulder that pivots the arm round. All right, so what we're going to do is stick this bit on here and this bit on here. And now as the suit leans, 
these two things move so we can restrict their movement and we can also spring them in one direction or the other to give this some sort of thing so it's sort of sprung in the middle and returns so these will move all around and as the legs rotate they'll move this way as well so we can restrict that we're going to build a box around it under here with lots of bungees and springs that should help to hold it upright and also help to get me back on balance hopefully Right, I've built this arrangement around it. I'll show you the front in a minute and you can just see the yellow bungee cords that are temporarily holding this. And uh, now it actually stands up by itself and it centers in the middle. So we've got this nice piece of wood here with some metal brackets and pieces that go back and either side I've attached some springs to some uh, sort of eyelet things on there. You can see each one stretching, which means it springs to the middle. It also springs the legs outwards. So when I'm leaning left, it wants to lean back to the middle and the other leg wants to spring out rather than collapsing inwards. And the plan will be to put some physical end stops on those bits of wood so that they do actually stop at some point and can't move any further. But that's just a case of blocking up or down or up above or below, I should say, um, so that it actually does lock. It will go sort of that far at the moment, but it returns to the middle pretty well. Yep, so that feels okay. I have to push it uh, relatively hard to get either side, but not too bad. But it does naturally center by itself. So I think if my hips are locked into that back, uh, piece of wood that I just put on. Um, I've got one arm in the sort of exosuit arm, but I could hang on to these handles. And I think actually if I just push this upright, which is basically the normal walking pose, I need something to put my feet in. Obviously the uh, legs retract by themselves, which is what we, what we did last time. So I think actually though, if I were to lean and, oh yes, I can, uh, whoops, just about almost get a step in there just by lifting that. And that'll come forward. So Whoa, yes, yeah. so I can almost actually, if I have my feet controlling this and the thing lifted as I lifted my feet, then yeah, I can in fact kind of go along. So you just have to imagine me doing that and the motor's pulling as I pull my feet. Well, I've just extended out these bits of studding for now to put my feet under to see if I can actually take steps. So I'm pretty happy I can walk in it and we haven't got any motors working yet. Remember we've got that motorized leg lift and we could also have motorized side to side stabilization to help me carry an offset load with the exo arm. So pretty happy with that. I think I need an Iron Man helmet to wear though, really. Here it is. Oh, I forgot about that. It's not an obtainium. It's all right, we didn't really smash up an Iron Man helmet. It was CGI. Yeah, it would look good with something like that there. Maybe more of a Hulkbuster helmet with some little displays inside and all that sort of thing. Obviously, we can put loads of Nerf guns and rocket launchers on it and stuff like that. Not to mention the actual functioning arm. And we probably need something on the other side. So maybe a big gun would be good. But there we go. So feeling pretty happy with this so far. So the plan for the rest of this video was going to be making the legs take steps when I do by actually lifting those legs up using that... Uh, block and tackle assembly that we built last time on both legs. So that's actually quite tricky. Now I haven't published a video on this for over a month, so I thought actually I'm gonna cut this video short. I've done something quite significant. So people are basically saying RIP exosuit project and things like that, because I brought out other videos and no one's seen an update. There's a few pictures on Instagram, but that's about it. So I'm actually gonna cut this video short now, I'm gonna publish the video, and then next time I'm gonna work on a proper control system so the legs actually do lift when I lift my legs. So don't forget to subscribe for more updates on this project and all the other projects. You can also check out my Patreon campaign, which is how most of my projects are funded. So if you wanna help me make bigger and better projects, check out patreon.com slash xrobots, where you can get access to some exclusive rewards, including a live broadcast with me and all my videos early. I've also got a t-shirt shop selling exclusive X-Robots t-shirt designs. The current design expires at the end of March 2017 and there'll hopefully be another one after that. So don't forget to check out those links in the description to this video. All right, that's all for now.